Alright guys, taking care of quail the easy way. Okay, first thing, food, right? We need to feed them. So what I give them is a mix of wild bird seed. You can see it's got millet, corn, you know, sunflower seeds, that sort of thing in it. Um, there's some layer crumble for chickens in here. I'm still waiting on my diatomaceous earth. I usually throw a little bit of diatomaceous earth in here and some garlic powder. Uh, occasionally I may throw some chick starter in here, but uh, yeah, that's it. Um, oh, and just some cracked corn, like the scratch that I give the chickens. I'll throw some of that in here in addition to what may come in the wild bird feed. Okay, so water. When it comes to the water, I just use a dog dish can you see that? And one of these rubber uh, bowls. Now I have another one of these rubber bowls that I use for sand and grit and that sort of thing, you know, for dust bathing. So yeah, just a mix of the playground sand or construction sand or dirt or wherever you get it from, you know, the beach. Just, you know, something dry for them to dust bathe in. And I throw the grit in there as well because, you know, they're going to peck through that and pull out the grit. And this time it's a vibrant life. Uh, granite grit. Throw a little DE in there and uh, then we're good to go. Right now, because it's been getting over 100 degrees every day, uh, instead of having a second bowl of sand, I have a second bowl of water. And I do that because aside from them needing a lot of water to drink, they do like to stand in it uh, to cool off. So I will set a bowl over here with sand in it and they can dust bathe in that. And then they can wade in there, wade in there. And I check it a couple times a day uh, because it gets dirty. Okay, so I feed them in this chicken feeder, this little chick feeder to reduce the waste. You know, they still waste a lot, as you can see over here. And uh, as you can see, maybe see down there, which I need to get a little bit of uh, sawdust in there. Um, I also give them treats like watermelon, uh, squash, banana, various food scraps. Yeah, you can see they love their, uh, their dust bath. <laughs> Okay, so we have them fed and watered, right? We, you know, food, easy, water, simple, uh, dust bath, right? So they can get those mites off them. Next is the house in general, right? We need to house our animals. We need to put a roof over their head. And so this, this may look a little junky here. You know, I hadn't built anything in quite a while and yeah, did it kind of on the fly here, but you know, it, it provides them a covered area with some wood chips in there so they can get out of the weather if necessary. Provides them with an open area with a breeze so that they can kind of stay cool. This, uh, I did have a mister that I used on my birds, but it seems like this does a better job. Just throwing a little carpet over top. Uh, it's open here. That's why I have that there. So that in the cooler months, they, are, they can get some sunlight in there, more sunlight. Uh, but that does a really good job of keeping it cool in there, surprisingly. And it's just an old carpet, a little old rug there that we were going to throw away. I wouldn't recommend going out and buying one to do this because, you know, it's not going to last more than the summer. That's going to be gone. But yeah, that's just to uh, keep the sun out of here a little bit better for them. Um, we use hardware cloth on the bottom. Obviously, that's going to be more comfortable on their feet. And, you know, I gave them a little bit of space over here to get off the hardware cloth. And, of course, they have their corner box. I'm not sure if you can see that here. Let's get inside. Hello. They have their corner box where they always pull the hay and stuff out of it, but I need to put some more in there. Um, but they actually prefer to stand on this when they're not dust bathing. And uh, normally I have their food over here. But 
uh, yeah, and you should probably have hardware cloth on the outside to protect them from snakes and other predators. You know, something a little bit tougher than what I have here. But I haven't had to worry about that where I'm at. So I wasn't worried about putting this chicken wire up here. But uh, I like to get it off the ground as well. We do have cats here and uh, this works well enough to keep them away from the cats. You know, we do have to worry about them getting on top, but we have a yard cat that does a good job of keeping them away. And I do have this tray here that came from a rabbit cage that I use to collect their waste. And then I go and I throw that in the barren parts of our yard. But yeah, so that's, that's their housing, right? Pretty simple. Uh, you could even, if you've only got a few, probably keep them in the house like you would uh, a parrot or something. It doesn't have to be complex, guys. This is just, you know, a little bit of new wood with some scrap wood, some wire. You know, simple. Okay, so in their house I use bedding, obviously. And I use this dust-free sawdust that you can get, you know, just in Walmart or Tractor Supply. And it's not cedar or anything aromatic like that that will hurt their lungs. Um, I, I do look for this dust-free one so that, uh, yeah, once again, we're not hurting their lungs. And then, uh, hey, I use, uh, well, I mix it up, you know, whatever's available, you know, whatever's not too expensive. This happens to be some Timothy, I believe. And uh, yeah, so I'll put that in their bedding. I'll put that in their uh, uh, closed off area. And uh, yeah, not too much. I, well, I put some under some of the sawdust underneath on their tray to collect their urine and whatnot. And, uh, and that's it, pretty simple. All stuff you can get right in your, your uh, major stores. So yeah, guys, taking care of quail is, is simple. I mean, I treat them like I would any other household pet. You know, I provide them shelter, I provide them food, I provide them water, you know, nice bedding. You know, I clean up after them. And, uh, you know, it's not often that I have to change out that tray. At least I don't feel like it's very often, every few days maybe. Uh, you know, and, you know, just like you would a litter box, you know, if it gets smelly before it's that scheduled changing time, you go change it, right? If their water gets too low, you go you go fill it. <clears throat> uh, I get them on the ground every now and then. I have a, this portable cage and I'll pull them out and I'll put them down there. And that's just extra stuff I do. You know, I raise them for their eggs and for the fun of it, you know, so they are like pets to us. If you're raising them for meat, maybe you don't do all this. Maybe you're a little more efficient with how you water them. Um, you know, I'm not worried about being super efficient because like I said, I'm raising them like pets and uh, for their eggs. Uh, so, I mean, medical, you know, if they get sick, I take them to the vet, you know, or I, I try home remedies first, but it just depends on what's wrong with them. Uh, I should say I will be doing those things with them because I haven't had any issues with these guys yet. So yeah, just think of them as any other pet that you've raised or would raise and you're done. It's that simple. So, uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions. If there's something I missed, some burning, you know, question that you have, let me know and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, till then, go do it, guys. If you want to do this, start with just a couple. You know, uh, if you're going to have a cockerel, you're probably going to want half a dozen uh, females. Otherwise, the, the cockerel is just going to, you know, pull all the feathers off the back of their heads. They're going to be a little too harassed. Uh, and you, you know, you don't need a cockerel to have eggs. So yeah, maybe start with a couple females if you're only gonna start with a couple. But they're, they're fun guys, they're great. They have such crazy personalities. Uh, they're just funny to watch and, uh, and very lovey. You know, I can pick them up and, and pet on them and everything. Too easy, too easy guys. Go out and do it, have fun.